And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, when I first got into the gaming, um, the, the, the new games that came out and a decade or so ago, and there were so many cool games that I saw on the internet, and I was like, wow, I want that, I want that. One game that really intrigued me was Arbos. It was this game about building a tree, it was a dexterity game, but it just looked so cool, it looked so neat. The game was really quite expensive. But when I was at Essen Spiel Fair this year, I found this, Arbos... Apfel, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, which was a very inexpensive version of the same thing, but looked just as good. This doesn't look very interesting, but add a piece of fruit and a leaf and a dexterity element to it, and you have a very interesting game. Let's check it out. Okay, so in this game you have this wooden base here, and this comes out, and just stick it like this in a wooden base, and you'll notice that there's holes around it on the outside, and there's holes in the top. Each player is going to get these wooden leaf pieces, these are really, really light pieces, and you're going to get branch pieces. These branch pieces also have holes in them, just like here, and then you get these apples or cherries or whatever fruit they are. All right, you're gonna, the number that you get is basically split evenly, so in a six player game, you would get two branches, uh, four leaves, and I think a cherry. Um, so, or no, two cherries. Two cherries in a six player game. So anyhow, on your turn, you simply use one hand and you place something in one of the holes. And as the game progresses, you're gonna be taking these things and sticking them on here as best you can. So hang on real briefly here while I build this up a little bit. Now when you make something fall like that, those pieces that you make fall will then come in front of you. And so your goal is to put these things in here to make it not only so that it's harder for other people to put pieces in, but to get the pieces out. Now the branch pieces are probably the hardest ones to put out. Although the leaf, as you can see, can be tricky because it's easy. These cherries are the easiest, so you probably want to save them until it's really time to put something in. But as the game progresses, you can see that really it forms kind of a beautiful sculpture here that, well, as long as you're not dropping pieces out, but at the same time, it is fragile enough that the pieces can easily fall out all over the place like they do here, but you can build it. You know, if I put the branches like this, I can build this thing pretty high. Come on. And it, I, I don't know, this, this just has a really good, the whole thing just has a really good look to it. And I mean, especially when you put all the leaves on it, it adds this color to it. And this is one of those games I think that you could leave set up on a table and people would come over just to mess with it, just to put pieces in it. Look at that. So anyway, first person to get rid of all their pieces is the winner. There's also a card game in here. And this card game basically Everyone gets pieces that they put out, but uh, you're going to be turning over a card and it tells you, place a piece of your choice. Uh, the next card here, take one piece to your, add, add an extra piece to your stock. Uh, decide who has to replace which piece wherever you want. The translation's not great on these. Uh, here you put out a branch and a leaf. So you have to do whatever the cards say. That's okay, but I prefer just a very basic game. It's simple and easy enough to play. Now the card thing in here, I can take it or leave it. Uh, it's, it's kind of funny that they still say 1999 on here. That, that makes this game 15 years old, I, I guess. And I'm not sure exactly when this w version was printed. Uh, it looks like it, it says that it won the Spiel des Jahres 2000, but I'm thinking it came out this year, this new little version of it. But either way, it was fairly inexpensive. I, I want to say it was 20 euros for all these wonderful wooden pieces, but the game itself is just a brilliant conversation piece. To have it set out, to have these things, you are playing a dexterity game, you know, your typical Jenga, put stuff on and hope it doesn't fall. But this does it in a very organic way as you're building out the branches and the leaves and the fruit. Okay, I need to get these right. What kind of fruit is it? Does it say? It doesn't say, it just says fruit. So I'm gonna call them cherries. So anyhow, so you're building this out in the leaves and the cherries, and as you can see, I made it fall several times. and 
but if you work really hard, you can get the tree to be fairly big. I've messed with it a few times and got it pr pretty big, and, and that's neat. And just the idea that, so like I said, the cards I can take or leave, but just playing the basic game, I enjoy it very much. The box could have been better. I'm not a big fan of these boxes that come like this, that they are one piece per se. But the stuff does fit. It's fairly transportable. It's something you can bring to an event setup and people will just mess around with it. And it's something that could be a nice display piece at your house, <laughs> although it will fall over, I guess, um, very easily. But check it out. This is certainly one that uh, I, I'm glad that I grabbed a copy of this. Arbos Apfo. Peace Tower of Judgment into my collection. Woohoo! Oh, whoops. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door!